Hey, thanks for watching my stuff. Um, this is our first time out since Hurricane Ian. Obviously, it uncovered some new stuff. I uh, appreciate all of your support that you've given me and my family after the events. All right, here's how we did in the hurricane. Didn't go well. It's gorgeous. This looks like a good spot. We're going to dive in. Joe's screaming underwater right here. He's on a monster. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get him to stand up, he doesn't want to leave it. I was trying to get you to stand up. Oh, that's a big one. What is it? Five and a half? No. No? It might be like four, push the five. Look so much. No, it's definitely, it's definitely five. Yeah? yeah? Oh, yeah. That's easily five. I got a GoPro. Dude, oh, that chunk's not out. That is beautiful, dude. Yeah, nice. Sucks about that ding in the corner, but <laughs> that tip is nice. You are a artist, so you'll fix it up, right? As soon as you said, have you checked the new, the new area? I, I stumbled on some stuff and I was like, oh, he's right. But I yeah, didn't expect this. All this is, looks like good. Here's here's what I found. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just about the same. Yeah. I didn't want to stand up because I didn't want to lose where it was. I know. I was like, dude, it's only like this high. Yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> For those of you that ask why we still want to live in Florida, let this answer your question. Joe may have already scored the Big Meg, but I was determined to find as many nice megs as I could for my website and gravel packs. Christmas is coming up soon. I got a very official, very official uh, Aqualung dive knife here. That's the short side, that's five inches. But the long side's almost five and a quarter. It's well over five. That's biggest. my biggest Meg for sure. It's got that little dinger there, but I might restore that. You know, I try and restore teeth for a living, so send me <laughs> your dingers. <laughs> wow. Beautiful, dude. I like the snowflakes on it. On yeah. The back, or front, technically. Look at those snowflakes. <laughs> a lot of the effects of the hurricane can still be seen all over the river. This is probably the 12th picnic table we saw either up in a tree or in the water. Every once in a while you find a tooth from a great white shark. These are actually much more rare than Megalodon teeth. Oh wow. Yeah. That's killer. So that makes me happy. Yeah, for sure. After the hurricane, many of the Megs are just laying out. But some are still a bit more hidden. Here's an alligator dermal scoot. 
a subtle reminder that we share this water with them. Not to mention seeing these monsters dip into the water as we pass by. But little did we know, this day was about to become epic. Even more epic. It starts here when I uncover this giant vertebrae from a mammoth in amazing condition. Then I come across a piece of skull which is a great sign and I'm immediately rewarded with this mammoth tooth of high quality, higher quality than I've ever found. peeking out of the sand. I pop up and wave Joe down to bring the boat over. There's some good stuff here. There's the mammoth vert. And I'm excited to get back in there and bring up what we found. Um, Cause this is what we do this for. I switched out batteries and dove back in. Nice, that is a nice tooth. Wow. I got it. Oh, oh man. Right. Look at that thing. Back of it's right here. That was. I don't oh, know. yeah, I see the root where it would attach right yep. there. Yep. It fits perfectly. Nice. That's a killer. Well, technically a grazer. <laughs> I'm becoming aware that I'm apparently like an 80 year old man here. I don't know what's going on with the bags under my eyes, but they're humongous. Oh well, it's gonna get old someday. We continue to uncover more parts of our mammoth and bring them up. Standing around the tusk section, Joe found the second mammoth tooth even more immaculate than the first. Yeah, so you got the process there beautiful vert. There is a really long process. Unfortunately, I don't know what vert that goes to. It seems to be just a little in between. There, look at that red bone. That's just one and it's broken down there. Got it's another fall one off here. the bone tender. <laughs> <laughs> it's drying out nice. Got pretty color for the plates. And it will easily reassemble the back of that. Look at that. The roots are just Spectacular. The color got like a blue enamel to it. Amazing. That is the prettiest mammoth tooth I've ever found. And maybe ever will. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I just quit. Joe ended up bringing up this since he can inflate his BCD. That's what remains of the tusk. You can see it's just falling apart, unfortunately. That's how these things are a lot of times in Florida. They don't preserve like they do up in the colder climates. And another beautiful vert Joe picked up. And I got one, you think that's a neck vert, Joe? Yeah, it's gotta be, it's super flat. It's massive. Oh yeah. I really wanted a whole leg, is what I was telling him. 
He found one, but it wasn't mammoth. Looks like he ate a whole bison leg. Looks like bison. It'll reassemble nicely. Oh, and then I got that. <laughs> Little detail here. Saw that. Thought that would be the highlight of the day, but <laughs> turns out maybe not. <laughs> That's a good day. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching my stuff. Um, this is our first time out since Hurricane Ian. Obviously, it uncovered some new stuff. Uh, appreciate all of your support that you've given me and my family after the events. And this is Joe. He's going to say something super profound in this video. I have to take a poop. All right, there it is. Mm -hmm.